Look, everyone's calling it a bugle. Central banks are warning that AI stocks look stretched. Hedge funds are borrowing with zero haircuts. Michael Burry, aka the original Big Shot, is back on podcast saying that this looks like 2000 all over again. Right in the middle of this madness, you heard Anthropic, the company behind Claude, is going to prepare to go public at a 300 to 350 billion dollars valuation, potentially before OpenAI. And tonight on front page by EIM, they're asking a strange question: Could Anthropic's IPO actually save the AI bubble from bursting? That too in an ugly way. So instead of a chaotic crash, could one brutally transparent listing force some sanity into the AI trade? Look, before we dive, before we dive deep and dive in, of course, I've got to tell you again and again: like, share, and subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss out on any of these updates because this is front page by EIM Network. So let's go. And the Bank of England says that AI-centered tech valuations are now materially stretched, nearing the dot-com levels. Economist Raghuram Rajan warns that easy credit and federal rate cuts are exactly when hidden risks build. And the Bank of International Settlements, the BIS, is flagging hedge funds using zero haircut leverage on government bonds. Then you've got Michael Burry says that the current AI frenzy looks a lot, again, like the dot-com bubble and could end in a long grinding downturn. Not too much cheap money, too few AI names, very thin transparency, like the 1999 pattern repeating all over again. Now enter Anthropic. Look, in just 18 months, Anthropic has repositioned itself squarely as the enterprise cloud company. <laughs> it raised $13 billion Series F at a $183 billion valuation backed by Iconic, Fidelity, BlackRock, T. Rove, QIA, Ontario Teachers, and other funds. And its run rate revenue jumped from around $1 billion to $5 billion in 2025. That makes it one of the fastest growing tech firms ever. It now serves 300,000 plus business customers with around 100k enterprise accounts up, up to, you know, that, that growth is somewhere around 7 times year over year. And Cloud Opus 4.5 is positioned as its strongest model yet. Tune for coding, long horizon tasks, reasoning and agentic workflows, and it's available across all major clouds. Not to forget, Anthropic is also building a deep developer plus infrastructure mode because Cloud Code hit a $1 billion run rate in just six months, now used by the big names like Netflix, Spotify, Salesforce, KPMG, and more. It acquired Bun, the ultra-fast JavaScript runtime, promising to keep it open source under MIT license and it signed a 200 million multi-cloud deal with Snowflake, bringing cloud directly into top enterprise data environments. So with around let's say $13 billion of fresh capital and another private round rumor to value the company at $300 to $350 billion, a mega IPO is the obvious next step. As we've said it before, cloud wins not by flash, but by enterprise reliability, safety, interpretability, and all the boring advantage that scales. And that matters when you stop and step into the public markets. Now, to the headline that all of you have been waiting for, because according to multiple reports, Anthropic has hired the law firm Wilson Sonsini. Remember, the same firm that took Google, Lyft, and other major tech names public, it started informal conversations with the top global investment banks about a potential IPO in like 2026. And, you know, we're telling you the official line that Anthropic is saying. The company says that we haven't made any decisions about when or even whether to go public while simultaneously behaving exactly like a pre-IPO tech giant because they're claiming they're audited, buttoned up and investor ready. Remember, at the same time, Anthropic is negotiating a new private round at up to $300 to $350 billion of valuation. NVIDIA has pledged around $10 billion, Microsoft another $5 billion, with Anthropic committing $30 billion in Azure Cloud spend over the last few years. I mean, it already has huge compute deals across AWS, Google Cloud, again, including an October agreement with Google that covers more than one gigawatt of compute and a separate $50 billion data center investment at fluid stack facilities. Ooh, look, this is not a side listing. It's a stake in the ground because if Anthropic pulls this off, guys, I think it could be the first pure play frontier AI lab to list publicly at the mega cap scale and do it before OpenAI. 
that timing is quite critical for the bubble story me and you are interested about and this part is important because just days during which the ipo chatter broke anthropic ceo dario amodai took a very public dig at open ai and google at the nyt deal book summit we don't do code reds remember code red and open ai he said that the well, consumer ai giants whip up crisis launches every 2 weeks anthropic has no consumer race to fight no emergency feature drops no oh beat open ai by thursday sort of pressure instead their entire strategy is enterprise first reliability first long horizon research tasks products purpose built for finance energy retail by medicine and manufacturing industries and developer tools like cloud code which turned out to be the fastest growing workload in the ai ecosystem dario even said something unusually blunt for an industry of this sorts some players are yoloing their way into massive capital spending if they miss time this even slightly bad things could happen of course he didn't name names but the world heard open ai between the lines <laughs> this moment matters for the ipo narrative because it signals that anthropic for one sees the bubble risk they refuse to join the consumer hype cycles they're positioning themselves as the responsible frontier lab and remember their revenues are expected to hit 8 to 10 billion dollars this year they're coming from enterprise not hype and funny subscriptions it also reinforces the key point which is driving tonight's episode that anthropic again is not listing to cash out they're listing to differentiate and that's exactly what makes this ipo different from every dot com era mega listing took many assume an ipo would inflate the bubble the real argument is i think quite the opposite because a public company like anthropic could reduce the systematic risks that are involved because let's think about it number 1 it forces the real price discovery many people are seeing today's ai valuation sit in private rounds marked up by late stage funds and hyperscalers with very little scrutiny you know classic bubble conditions so a public listing would put a daily transparent price on a frontier lab based on metrics like revenue margins and guidance creating a benchmark for companies like open ai and everyone else in the ecosystem and a gradual repiercing via one big ipo is safer than a sudden oh everything is overpriced sort of crash and number 2 guys it shifts the narrative from hype to unit economics because public markets they demand answers answers on metrics like you know margins for cloud code and let's say the model like opus 4.5 your gpu and cloud costs all need to be revealed or your enterprise payback periods r&d sustainability and answers to these questions don't kill ai growth they're going to normalize it because a profitable high growth public anthropic gives investors a very sane reference point instead of a trillion dollar total addressable market fantasy the other factor is that it spreads ai risk beyond big tech you're saying about it right now ai exposure sits concentrated inside microsoft nvidia alphabet amazon and just a few huge private funds a public anthropic lets pension funds sovereign bonds mutual funds and retail investors buy a transparent ai pure play diffusing concentration risk it acts like a pressure valve away from the mega caps then the other factor it triggers a disciplined a very disciplined race with open ai So OpenAI is struggling with a slow chat GPT growth again we discussed that on front page code red remember it's paused some product lines and it's facing the pressure after Google's Gemini 3 wave so if anthropic lists first and shows faster growth or let's say you know cleaner enterprise economics and a sustainable multiple it forces the industry to ask look what is the right valuation and the business model for an AI lab like anthropic So anthropic becomes the yardstick of measurement. Look, this is something the dot com era never had, and ironically, that discipline may help stabilize companies like OpenAI too. But look, to be fair, there's also a flip side. If anthropic lists at 300 to 350 billion dollars, trades up aggressively, and is then followed by an OpenAI IPO that's targeting 1 trillion dollars, followed by a wave of new AI infrastructure listings, this could lead to more rate cuts and even looser liquidity. and we could even get a bigger blow off top and that's the nightmare scenario michael bury and all the other central banks are worried about the market believes that ai can only go up until it doesn't so the key isn't just that anthropic is going to list for an ipo but 
will the ipo guide to a sustainable growth or once again we sell a will all eat the world kind of a story yeah the question is that does it keep raising huge private funds even after listing or use the ipo to normalize some capital flows then of course what about regulators are they going to push for better disclosure on ei risk safety and concentration or you know treated like another generic tech ipo there are a lot of questions but remember the ipo itself will not and cannot be a magic shield but here's what it can be it can be the moment when ei valuations move from fantasy to a negotiated sane reality so guys tell us in the comments below should anthropic rush into the public markets and force a reality check or you know wait risk bigger fraud and maybe a harder landing later this is front page by aim network hope you enjoyed the segment like share and subscribe and always remember to think ai think aim